Especially what? Cartoons. Cartoons. Yeah, you guys, you know there's been research on that, actually. Yeah, Tom and Jerry. <laughs> Tom and Jerry. Tom and Jerry are silent. Family Guy. They don't even say, oh, Family Guy. Don't okay. learn your English from Family Guy. Yeah. Oh. No, if there's the a tackier show on TV, I don't know what it is. Family Guy is embarrassing. It's funny. It's the best. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. It is the best. It's oh, funny. No. Yeah. Although, I can tell you, I about, um, about 10 years ago, I had a level three student from Spain, okay? And really, she tested into our program at level three, but she was a low level three. And as I came to know her, I found out why she had one month of English before she came in Spain. Okay, so she got like a crash course in grammar. So she tested into level three, but she had a really hard time speaking and listening. But she watched Cheers every night. Do you guys know Cheers? It's set, it's set in a bar. It's an old sitcom. And it's always said in this bar named Cheers, and she learned all the characters. And I said to her once, you know, because her language really picked up. And I said, why are you picking up this language? And she said, Cheers. <laughs> and I just went, great. She's, well, she's learning TV from watching a sitcom. Okay. Well, a lot of people can. Sorry? Tell it to be. Sorry? Tell it to be. I suppose a little, little tiny things, you know, yeah, little, little small words. Okay, you guys. Okay, top of page 49, Norbu, what did you and your partner come up with? Summarize. Wait, wait, wait. Say it again. In summary. In summary? Yeah, in summary. So from the Part of they pretty much have, because they're everywhere. Okay. In summary, Liz, what did you and your partner come up with? Okay. So there's a case where she used indeed instead of in a, something like in summary, and that one actually is good for this because the proof is already strong. The proof is already strong. Um, do you guys ever, do you, when you're driving around, do you ever count the number of people that go by you who are talking on cell phones? Yeah. It does seem like everybody's talking on a cell phone. Does that worry you? Yeah. Why does it worry you, Laya? Because Yeah. It is, it is dangerous. You're distracted. Whether you know it or not, you know, you're distracted. I think, anybody in here Japanese? Chino? Yeah, wait a minute. Guy. Guy, isn't there a um, law now in Japan that it's illegal to talk on a cell phone and drive? Yeah. Do people still do it? Uh, uh, yeah, so. Okay, if you get caught, what's the penalty? Ticket. I'm not sure. It's probably a ticket or a fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't have any laws yet. It's illegal or? It is illegal. What's the penalty? Uh, now we have the, the driver's license to point. If the police uh, catch you, you have, I don't know, it's like five points less and you have like 12. So if you waste the 12 points, you have, you are without the license one year. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh, so I people so. don't do it a lot? No, I don't know. Okay, they do it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, it, there may be some states because we're talking about it because we know it causes we know it causes accidents. So maybe certain states have it, but it's not a federal law yet. Okay. I know in Illinois. In Illinois. My friend, when I talked to her, she was driving and she told me, you know, there's nothing like it to you know to the fall and the fall is when you know. Oh. Maybe in Illinois they. It could be. Yeah. Because she thought, like, uh, I must finish because they are uh, behind me and maybe they see me that I'm on the phone. Yeah. They're t yeah, and, they're, and they really are talking about doing it because we really are, we're like so stuck to our cell phones. Okay, you guys, when I was in New York and I was at a, uh, one of the presentations, it, it was three people who were presenting. So there were this room full of people who were listening and three people were presenting their research and during their presentation, two of the presenters' cell phones went off. The presenters, they were very embarrassed, okay? Because it's, it's bad enough if it goes off in the audience, 
But, you know, I know what happened. They were nervous. You know, they were nervous about making their presentation and they were looking at all their stuff and they forgot to turn off their cell phones, but you should have seen it. Their faces just went so red. They were so embarrassed because that's so unprofessional. I really felt sorry for them, you know? And people, there, a couple of times people had cell phones go off, but one night um, I went to a Broadway show, you know? I went to see a, a, a show on Broadway. I saw me see a chorus line. And before they even started the show, the announcer came on and said, Every, please turn off your cell phone. You know, because if people, and you could, all over the audience, you heard people go, and then you heard, you know, the, you know, the, the chimes when you turn off your power. You heard it all over the audience. People who, who, and they looked embarrassed, but at least nobody's cell phone went off. Stanya? Can I tell you uh, yeah. a funny story with the cell phone? Can you hear her? Um, yeah, they had, uh, I was, uh, I, was, I was in college, and we had a lecture, and one uh, lawyer he came to, you know, talk, and he told us, like, I don't want to use a cell phone, so please turn off, you know, because it's not nice to hear and be some talking and maybe somebody bother. And she was, she was talking, you know, and we, we heard something. All audience heard something, you know, it was like, Whose phone is this, you know? <laughs> and he was like, oops, it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> it was his. Like, so he was embarrassed. And yeah, and he, he needed to pick up, and after he, he apologized, and he told like, no, this is my wife, because she's a pregnant, so this is the reason why I didn't bring home, you oh, know, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. But, yeah. So she was going into labor. Yeah. Okay. You know what? You can do that if you're in a formal situation. You know, if you really have to take a call, you can tell people, I may be getting a phone call. But, you know, 9.9 .9 times out of 10, it's your mom. <laughs> you know, she just wants to know what you're doing, you know, to do that. So, you know, you just got to turn it off. Remember to turn it off. Okay. All right, you guys, on uh, page 49, you had to do a thing where you were scrambling and unscrambling, um, right? You had to put this these uh, un, this fast food, unhealthy food, you had to put it into the correct sequence, okay? So let's see, Chiho, what did you find to be the topic sentence? Uh, fast food is turning popular in the United States, but it's not very good for do you agree? Is E number one? Okay, how do we know it's the topic sentence, Olympia? Yeah. Because it's such a bad reason. Okay, somebody help out Olympia. Walter or Wagner, whichever one of you guys it is. Walter. Okay, it's Walter? Okay. You don't have, for example, secondly. Okay, that's one clue. There's no transition. Okay, so it's doing what, Walter? She took your answer. Yeah. All right, so give me another one. <laughs> what? There is a controlling idea. What is the controlling idea, Ghazi? <laughs> what? Okay, that's not the controlling idea. That's the, that's the topic. Yeah, the topic. Fast food is extremely popular in the United States. Okay, the controlling idea is what? It's not very good for you. Okay, so everything about this should be telling us that. Do you guys agree with that? Is fast food popular here? Yeah. Is fast food more popular here than in your country? Yeah. Why is that? Because it's cheap. Because what? It's cheap here? Yeah. Many people are working. They don't have the time to cook or do It's a fast culture. But, Hong, what's this thing about cheap? It's not cheap. Fast food here? Yeah, it's cheap. It's cheaper than my country. It's cheaper than my country. It's just hot. People are just one time. I'm not going to get the one back. Turn off the board. Here they kind of want some shots. Can I compare with to to cafe, cafe, uh, cafe, and between cafe and fast food restaurant? It's not cheap. Can I 